Hi Girl Scouts, Molly here with Girl Scouts of Virginia Skyline and today we are going to be going over the Junior Animal Habitats badge, step number three, which is to create an animal home. And so to do that, we have a fun experiment in just a little bit where we are going to be making jello nests and learning all about how animals protect their homes, how they use insulation and how they use different materials to make nests and protect their homes. Um, but before we do that, I want to show you, I found a nest in my yard actually that had fallen out of a tree um, and had been abandoned, but I wanted to show you what it looked like and how the birds uh, put it together and what kind of materials they used. So let's take a look at that real fast. Okay, so this is the nest I found. It was just in my yard um, and it had been abandoned. It was, um, it had fallen out of a tree, I believe. Um, and so I wanted to show you what I discovered. So this is what's called a cup nest. As you can tell, it kind of makes a little bowl shape with an indentation in the middle there. And that's where the eggs would be laid, the baby birds would grow up. And the materials used by the bird are an assortment. So a bunch of like these little teeny tiny twigs, right? And it is kind of falling apart right now, but you can tell it is woven together um, by the bird and it really holds its shape pretty well. Some other materials, we've got like this little thin bark and I even see some plastic in there. So um, because I live in the city, the bird probably had access to bits of trash as well, but that's why it's important to keep trash out of our green spaces, right? Um, because we want birds to have access to natural materials. Um, but so what I want to talk about now, our next activity is going to be making a jello nest to experiment and to show how insulation in animal homes can protect the animals. Um, so birds will create their nest to make a nice safe space in the middle there and they can insulate it on the outside to keep it cool in warm weather or warm in cool weather. Um, and so animal homes are built to protect the animals inside. Um, and so we're gonna show how that works with this Jello experiment in just a minute. All right, so to make our Jello nests, the first step is to prepare our Jello in um, just according to the package instructions. And you may need an adult for help with this because it does require you to boil water. Um, so I'm just finishing up starting the boiling water with my Jello packet and next I add in the cold water. Um, and I'll stir that for a bit. And then what we're going to do, the way we're going to test this um, nest is we're going to pour our jello into two different containers. I've got one um, right here and then a smaller one that is going to be our nest. And it's you're going to want to make sure you have a lid for this one. This is going to be the container that you protect and insulate like a bird would protect and insulate its nest. And the way that I'm going to do that, um, I just have some socks that I'm going to use to wrap around it and keep it warm. Um, you can use whatever you want. You can actually use natural materials like a bird would if you prefer, or you can use, you know, towel socks, things that you have around the house, things that you think will insulate it. If you have multiple containers and can do a bunch of different experiments, go for it. That's a great idea. Um, see what insulators work the best. So what we're going to do once, um, now that our jello is ready, we're going to pour it into our containers. I'm going to prepare my insulated nest, and then I'm going to put them um, into the refrigerator so they can set, um, and we'll check on them periodically to see if our nest is doing a better job of setting um, or of not setting because it's insulated than our um, one that is going to be left open. So that is gonna be how we make our experiment. This part might be messy, so I'm gonna try not to spill any jello. All right. And actually, this one I'm gonna do over the sink. A little bit. All right. So again, I've got my two. I'm gonna put my lid on the little one. And then I'm just gonna wrap my socks around, around my nest to protect it. And so the goal is I wanna keep it nice and warm so it's protected and safe from the cold air inside the refrigerator. And I've got two socks, so I might as well. There we go. All right, so it doesn't look as good as a bird's nest. It's not pretty. 
but hopefully it's going to keep that jello in there nice and warm and protected from the cold air in my refrigerator. Um, so I'm going to get these popped in there and then we'll check back in like 30 minutes just to see where we're at. Alright, so it's time to check on our jello. It's been probably closer to about a half or an hour and a half than a half hour because when I checked at a half hour stuff wasn't really done. Um, but I'm going to show you the first one is pretty much it's not fully solid yet. Obviously, it's still a little wigglier than it normally would be, but it's definitely um, set a good bit. And so now we're going to take apart our jello nest and see where that is at. So I'm going to have to be very careful so I don't um, topple things over. But we go one sock at a time. And so hopefully, our insulation works. And it protected our jello nest. And if so, it's going to be nice and liquid, kind of like when we started. Because it would have been ah, protected from the elements. And as you can see, it did work. So, compared to the exposed jello that was affected by the cold of the fridge, our nest insulated and protected this one. So hopefully you enjoyed this experiment and learned a little bit about how animal habitats work to protect um, from the elements, how insulation can be used, um, such as by birds in a nest. Thanks for joining. Bye.